from WFRV TV Local 5, your local election headquarters. This is Newsmaker Sunday with your host, Tom Zalaski. Good morning. Welcome to Newsmaker Sunday. I'm Tom Zalaski. Our show today, legalizing marijuana, has been a growing topic of discussion across the country, especially as Governor Evers announced he wants to legalize recreational and medicinal marijuana in his next budget. More than a dozen states across the country have made marijuana fully legal, while others have decriminalized it or made medical strands available. We've got with us this morning Andrew Heisel of the Wisconsin Cannabis Association. Andrew, thanks so much for joining us this sure, morning. Sure, Tom. Much appreciated. Absolutely. Uh, Wisconsin Cannabis Association. Who are you? What do you do? Uh, essentially, the Wisconsin Cannabis Association is a group of individuals and organizations that support legalization. It's a homegrown entity with a real focus on small businesses, entrepreneurs, and also folks committed to social justice issues. You want marijuana legalized, reasons for it. Reasons for it. Well, I think one of the big reasons you could say that uh, we support it, and that's the other thing about the association, it pulls from all sides of the political spectrum, mm -hmm. libertarians, as well as folks that are concerned about social justice. Um, but so there's just a, a, there's a bunch of reasons uh, to support legalization. I'll just start off by saying right now, 45 out of the 50 states in this country have some form of legalized cannabis. It's a, it's a, it's a really significant number, um, and we're in a very small minority. If we look to our neighbors surrounding us, including Canada to the north, mm -hmm. we are in, the, in, a, in a very small minority. Uh, so the reasons to, to, to legalize, let's look at our neighbors. What has Michigan got uh, received from legalizing cannabis in 2018? They have uh, almost a billion dollars in new market activity. From that, $160 million in 2020 is going to go to state, local governments, schools, and other sorts of public expenditures. They have in Colorado 40,000 registered jobs. People who are registered to work in the cannabis industry have jobs in Colorado as a result of legalization in 2012. So you have a job, you have jobs, you have economic growth, you have public revenue, and really importantly, and what cannot be forgotten, and what actually brought me to this issue, is you have the fact that for that African Americans are arrested for small amounts of possession, small possession charges, right. four times at the rate of whites, despite roughly similar usage, and that kind of disparity needs to stop. And I think legalization is really an important step towards accomplishing that. It, does legalization take away uh, some of the stigma around marijuana? I think that the stigma is already rapidly going away. Mm -hmm. You have Kathleen Sebelius has now joined John Boehner. The former head of HHS under Obama is now partnered with John Boehner, former Speaker of the House, to promote legalization. No. So I, I think the stigma is, I think it's catching up more quickly with some folks than others, but I think the stigma is, is further going in the rearview mirror as time goes on. Mm -hmm. Recent uh, poll that came out, Marquette University poll in 19, uh, 2019, uh, found nearly 60% of Wisconsinites uh, support legalization of marijuana. 83% of people in the state support the legalization of medical marijuana. Why do you think there's this growing support, this, this trending tide that's, that's changing? Because once you remove the stigma that was sort of ingrained in us, from years gone by, you recognize that adults who act responsibly should have the freedom to choose what substances to use. And the re reality is this cannabis is, ne is, le is no more, if not less dangerous than alcohol. And we, we know how prohibition for alcohol went. It doesn't make sense for a very small minority of people who may not be able to behave responsibly to ban a substance that other adults, the vast majority can use responsibly if it's legal, Tax is alcohol, tax like alcohol, and regulated. We continue with Andrew Heisel after this short break, so please stay with us.